Hey guys, it's Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to teach you about the dwarf planet, Pluto. Hey! No, not that Pluto. Come on, let's try this again. Today we're going to learn about Pluto. Huh? That's Pluto from Popeye. Come on, I mean Pluto. What? That doesn't even... Pluto! What? Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just start this thing already. Now back in my day, there were nine planets. But in 2006... Scientists came up with a new term and decided that Pluto was no longer a planet. It was now, instead, a dwarf planet. Wow. But let's cut to the chase and talk to this guy already. Hey, Pluto, long time no see, man. Eh, go away. Come on, Pluto, don't you remember me? It's me, Mr. DeMar. I know who you are. You're the one who tried to kick me out of your planet video and called me a dwarf planet. <laughs> Not even kidding, man. That has to be the most annoying sound I have ever heard. Not as annoying as this. One day there was a kitty cat, a little kitty cat. And everywhere he went, it went clicky clack. It went clicky clack. There was a daddy cat. There was a mommy cat. And then... Just stop already. I had enough. Doesn't feel good being annoyed now, does it? No, it really doesn't. Well, now you know how I felt when you called me a dwarf planet. Hey, speaking of dwarf planets, we read earlier that a dwarf planet is an object that's similar to a planet, but isn't large enough to disturb other objects in its orbit. Now, I know there has to be a lot more to being a dwarf planet than that. Do you mind explaining to my class what a dwarf planet really is? Well... It all started on a nice, cool day in 2006. Here I am hanging out with a bunch of my cool planet friends. Hey guys. Hey, hey guys. Guys. Hey, hey guys, look. Gu guys, hey. Hey guys. Guys. Hey, hey gu guys. Hey guys, guys, guys. Never mind. Anyway. Scientists got together to discuss the true definition of a planet. In order to be a planet, you have to orbit the sun. And you have to have a round shape due to gravity. And you have to clear the neighborhood around your orbit. I have a handful of spaghetti behind my back. And after they figured out what a planet was, it was only natural that they figured out what a dwarf planet was, too. Just like a regular planet, it has to orbit the sun and have a round shape due to gravity. It cannot clear the neighborhood around its orbit. It can't be a satellite. I still have a whole ton of spaghetti behind my back. You know what? Besides that guy talking about spaghetti the whole time, Dwarf planets actually seem pretty cool. Yeah, it's not too bad. So what else can you tell me about yourself, Pluto? Well, when I was a planet, I was the furthest one away from the sun. Look at my path of orbit compared to my friends. Doesn't it look different? Because of this, sometimes I can be closer to the sun than Neptune is. And look at how far I am. On average, Pluto is about 3,600,000,000 miles away from the sun. That's 40 times further away from the sun than Earth. Whoa, that's far, man. Yeah, it's super far. It takes your planet, Earth, 365 days to revolve around the sun. But for good old me, it takes 248 years. Whoa. Did you say years? Oh, you heard me right. I said years. Wow, but what about the temperature? Is it cold there? It's freezing. If they made jackets for planets, I'd wear one. With kitty cats on it. Don't get weird on me now, Pluto. But for real, how cold is it there? It's freezing. It could reach anywhere between negative 380 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I still have a giant fistful of spaghetti behind my back. That's really cold for such a small place. But hey, I remember reading a while ago that when you were a planet, you were the smallest in the solar system. But how small are you really? I'm like the baby of the group. 
If you took the total surface area of Pluto, it could fit in Russia. Hey, I'm even smaller than your moon. So, we learned that you're a little icy dwarf planet that has a weird orbit and takes a long time to go around the sun. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Well, I uh, do have very low gravity, so low, that if you weighed 120 pounds on Earth, you would only weigh 18 pounds here. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. So, do you think I can be a planet again? I don't think it should be up to me. Let's ask another planet. Oh, hey, hey, you! Do you think Pluto should be a planet again? <laughs> Nobody knows the trouble I feel. Nobody knows my sorrow. I think a handful of spaghetti would definitely cheer you up. I promise it's not that gross. Okay, it's kind of gross.